Matt Gray, you must be immensely proud. What an outstanding team performance tonight. Certainly was, eight. Um, from the first minute, I felt we, we dominated that first half. We, I thought we were outstanding. And our energy, our work rate, we outworked them, we outrun them. Our, our set up organisation to press, to get the ball back and then to create those chances. I thought, I thought we were excellent. I thought we really were. Um, and Donovan to pop up and, and hit him again with a uh, nicking the ball and, and breaking through uh, and his finish and for him to get two and two was I'm really pleased for him and uh, to come in and, and get that goal for us was outstanding and second half I thought we were very good as well I, I thought we, we continued where we left off they changed their shape um, they put another forward on um, other than Rob Milson slipping over that was the only chance that they had and you called upon the excellent Dean Bazanis to make a save when, when called upon that's the only chance that they've had apart from just throwing everything and going direct and, and long throws in the last 10-15 minutes, which we uh, managed to weather and see the, the well-deserved result through. I mean, I'm exhausted having commentated on it. I'm sure everyone is exhausted having I mean, watched it on the live stream of the living rooms. So many people so delighted with that result tonight back in Sutton because it's, a, it's, it's obviously a huge win for us. But the, the energy, the, the, the work rate and drive and just organisation was there for all to see tonight. Definitely, like, you know, like I've just said there, the, the togetherness within the group, the team spirit helps with that. It, you know, it's amazing the, the atmosphere within the, the dressing room and the, and the lads' togetherness is, is unbelievable. And that drives people through, not just when we're going through good spells in games, but it, it drives you through with 10 minutes to go and we've got to deal with the bombardment of long throws and free kicks coming in your box. Uh, the toge togetherness is frightening, uh, which then rubs into the it's the um, you know the, the organisation and the structure and, and how we know what we're going to do against different opposition. I've said this in previous interviews. There's many ways to win a football match, and I feel we're quite flexible to be able to do that. And uh, yeah, and, and we've certainly put in a performance and a, a result which is uh, well worthy of that. They made four changes from the lineup against uh, Maidenhead on Saturday. Did that change your kind of approach to the game at all when you saw the team sheet? Uh, no, we were expecting. I think it was maybe three eight. I might be wrong. Three or three, maybe four. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we were expecting a few changes. But as we always do, myself and Jason, we'd, we'd watched their previous three or four games and, and watched them here, uh, Yeovil, Eastley, and the one. Um, Saturday against Maidenhead so we knew their system we knew what they, they were going to be about and uh, as I say we managed to deal with them well and they've been on a really good run and certainly very strong here so to come here and put in a performance like that I'm really pleased and you decided to start with the same 11 that started against Kings Lynn on Saturday a reward for Donovan for the goal he scored on Saturday and a, and a good good first showing for us and, and obviously he rewarded us with a, with a goal today what a great what a great strike exactly and I, I think he looked better tonight um, than he did on Saturday his last game was Boxing Day, so a little bit of rustiness, but still knows where the goal is on Saturday. Better performance from him tonight, pops up with another goal, he's a goal scorer, um, so we're really pleased with that. But then to, to be able to have the option of, of freshening it up with Tanto with 20 minutes to go is excellent. It just goes to show that little bit of strength and depth we've got now with our squad. Uh, Aaron Simpson, who's been very patient uh, against an excellent behind an excellent John Barden this season. But Aaron's then come on just before half-time and put in a, a very solid and uh, comfortable performance there. So I'm really pleased where we're at with the group. Great resilience defensively as well as we'll come on to in a minute, but actually also some real signs of link-up play between Omar Bugiel, who was outstanding this evening, I'm sure you'll agree, and Donovan. Uh, they, they were a constant threat. There was there was a goal threat from Sutton throughout the throughout the evening, wouldn't you agree? Definitely, with a handful that if we need to go into direct into them, they can. We've got the one down the side. We've also got the physical presence, so we've got those two options. But then we've got the the energy in behind it to go and get the ball back and, and win it, like I say, with Harry's and Will Randall's legs and, and Eastie going to join in, Kenny getting on the ball and using it very wisely. Yeah, we, we've got a good mix in the squad, and, and you know, they, like I've said, the, the players are just bringing off the bench, and then Show Silver comes on, and he's a handful for 10 minutes. And yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really pleased as, as a squad, and even the ones who are not here tonight, Adjie Boys and Reese Browns, etc. We're in a good place, Aidan. We'll just let long mate continue. Mm, quite so. If you're staying in the moment each game as it comes, but that's now what eight wins there out of the last nine, the other one being a draw. So a fantastic run. Let's you know, let's moving on to Stockport. Let's see. Hopefully that will continue. Just going back to tonight's game a minute. And Donovan, he had a sizer, didn't he, early on? The link-up play with Omar, left foot drive was just a little bit yeah. too close to the goalkeeper. But then, boy, he made no mistake with the goal. Yeah. Going in 1-0 up, but to be honest, they had a lot of the ball but didn't really pose too many threats in the first half. What was your, what was your message at half-time to the boys? Um, to expect a change um, because 
Uh, the first half performance that we put in there, I expected them to either change shape, shape slightly or their style of play, and they, they did they put two forwards on, as I've said, went a little bit more direct into it, so we, we had to be adaptable there, which I thought we were. Uh, it was only that last 10, 15 minutes where they, you know, they just threw everything at, at us, and, but even then on the counter-attack, we, we looked quite sharp and bright, mm. but Donovan's got down the channels quite twice there, Omar's got down the channel, he's hit the outside of the post, Harry's had the chance at the far post there, we, we certainly had chances to go make it two, and and that probably would have been deserved. Yeah, it was quite a physical game too. Uh, there, there were a number of challenges that went in, and you know it was it was it was fair and love and war, I guess. But a number of yellow cards brandished, and there was a moment at the beginning of the second half, and I know that I was right over the other side of the ground. But was it Joel Taylor, their uh, left-sided player? On, on, on another day, he might have received a, yellow, a second yellow card and perhaps been dismissed with half an hour to go. Did you? What did you make of that of that incident? If I'm being honest, I can't remember it. <laughs> I, I can't remember it. No, I can't yeah. remember that off the top of my head. It, it was, it was, a, it was a frantic game. There was quite a few tackles and, and different things going in. I don't remember that incident. I'll probably watch the video back in the morning and go, oh, yeah. Well, I might I, get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember um, exactly uh, what that one was, but uh, no, it, it was a, a bit of a frantic game and, and good, good energy, good tempo. They've got energy and legs in their team and they're a good side. Mm. And it goes to show what they are with the run that they've been on. Mm. Uh, so to come here and, and be solid and, and resolute, I'm, I'm really pleased. A fantastic three points. You you made three changes. Um, John Barden was uh, received the knock in the first half. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure exactly what it was, but Bobby just signalled to me that uh, it wasn't good to continue. I don't think there's anything major to say. It was just maybe more precaution, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how he is um, over the next couple of days. Okay, but obviously in the case of Omar and uh, and Donovan, it was they'd yeah. run, their, run their race and, and fresh yeah. legs on for the last 15 exactly. minutes. Exactly, they work so. great in energy, and then you've got a, we're fortunate to have the likes of Show Silver and Alafe to come on there, which. Uh, again, is a really good impact for us. And we say it's obviously a big squad. We've got lots of games coming up. It's relentless. Stockport on Saturday, and then obviously we move on next week. We've got two more away games, and then two more away games after that. We're going to need that squad. Any, any uh, positive news to tell the fans about David Adjuboy and Reese Brown, who obviously yeah, weren't no, able to be here tonight? Yeah, no, they they were. They're not far away. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see when we come back in on Friday where they are. I'd both say they're touch and go for the weekend still, um, but they're, they're not weeks out. So, um, you know, what two good players they are to come back into the, into the fold. So hopefully they're, they're not too far away. Um, and as I say, the only real concern I believe tonight is John Barden. OK. The last 20 minutes of the game today, obviously, as you say, they threw everything at us and we stood up to it all. Huge resilience there. A great organisation, you know that's that's the hallmark of your Sutton United sides. That's that's there for all to see. But when he was needed, Dean Buzanis came up trumps, didn't he? Because Yardy, the side that was in, but he was a good hand and a good save. Yeah, we, we've managed to limit teams to very few chances in in recent weeks. Kings Lynn on Saturday, I don't think they've had a shot on target. What well, maybe one actually saved down to his left hand side. Uh, again today, the only time he's been called upon to make a save. Was, was down that um, left-hand channel of ours and, and Rob Nielsen falling over, unfortunately, and then the cutback and the shot and, and an excellent save. But he's been brilliant, Dino. His distribution, his kicking has been excellent. Three clean sheets in the last four. Um, I'm really pleased with his performance and how we've been doing. Mm. And on to Stockport on Saturday, uh, another tough game. Still at home. Yeah, uh, exactly. Another tough game. They're, they're all tough. Kings Lynn was as just, just as tough. Uh, in different ways as, as tonight was and as Saturday would be and we've managed to come through that we've come through tonight so we'll dust ourselves down and, and as you say another extremely tough game on Saturday but we'll be ready we stay in the movement and we, move, we stay in the moment and we move on Matt but everyone is immensely proud of this Sutton team heartiest congratulations for an outstanding performance tonight everyone back home is utterly thrilled with it so well done keep up the good work and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday enjoy the journey home congratulations we will brilliant